welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe, if you are new here, and if you are, I would love you to hit that bright red subscribe button down below. And of course, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. So today, I have got for you guys another nursing video, which as you guys know, means that I am once again collaborating with the lovely people over at nurses.co.uk. You've probably heard me talk about them before, but if you haven't, they're a nursing website that supports the careers of nurses like us. They also provide career advice, most of which is provided by nurses like me. I obviously produce videos for them, but I have also recently written a blog post for them. So if you want to check out the blog post I wrote, I will link that down below. I'll also link their other social media, including their new YouTube channel, where they're uploading my nursing videos, as well as videos from some other nursing creators. So be sure to go and check that out too. So this month, nurses.co.uk asked me to talk to you guys about the reasons why I love my job. And when they suggested this topic to me, I was like, yes, I'm definitely up for filming that video. Because I have to admit, when I first told people that I was going into mental health nursing, like when I was at sixth form and teachers or friends or whatever are asking me, you know, what are you applying to do at uni? And I told them, some people would be a bit like, really? <laughs> like, are you sure you want to do that? And I feel like there's a lot of negativity around mental health, mental health hospitals, mental health nursing, and kind of everything associated with it. So I was definitely up for telling you guys why I love my job. If anyone is new here, then I am a newly qualified mental health nurse. I spent three years training and I qualified this year. And I started my first job as a newly qualified nurse about nearly two months ago now, which is really scary. It's gone by in a flash, but I already know that I love my job. And I knew that even before I'd qualified because I had some incredible experiences while I was training as well. So yeah, I just thought I'd share with you a few reasons why I love my job as a nurse. This is definitely not all of them because I could literally talk for hours and most of you aren't going to want to sit through that. So <laughs> I've condensed it down into sort of my top five reasons. However, you know, there's going to be a little bit of overlap and because it's a video by me, there's going to be a little bit of rambling and storytelling thrown in there as well. One of the first reasons why I love being a nurse is actually the NHS itself. And don't get me wrong, I fully appreciate that not all nurses work in the NHS, some work in the private sector or the third sector, and that doesn't make them any less of a nurse. But for me, I am incredibly proud to be a nurse within our NHS. Our NHS is not something that just makes me proud to be a nurse, but it also makes me proud to be British, to be here from the UK. I love the underpinning ethos of the NHS. You know, just this idea that it doesn't matter how much money you have, what your job is, how educated or uneducated you are, we are all entitled to good quality, free at the point of contact care, which I think is just incredible. The fact that the value of our life is not determined by the amount of money in our bank accounts. I have been very fortunate and I have gone out to two different countries to volunteer as a nurse. I went to Tanzania last year and I was in Sri Lanka this year. And going to places like that where the quality of care that you receive, or if you receive care at all, depends entirely on how much money you have. And I found that terrifying. The fact that some of the patients that I met in Sri Lanka were using substandard medications that we in the UK wouldn't touch with a barge pole anymore, but they have to use those ones because they're the cheapest ones on the market. They're the only ones they can afford. You know, they can't afford the medications that are more expensive, but are more effective and have less side effects, for example. So I think being as fortunate as I am and seeing the healthcare that I've seen in other countries has made me appreciate our NHS even more. Don't get me wrong, our NHS is definitely not perfect. It is underfunded and overstretched, but the underpinning ethos of it that I love so much still rings true. We're all human beings and we we all deserve care. So yeah, our NHS is pretty incredible. Another reason that I love being a nurse is all the incredible people that I've met. Unfortunately, illness, and in the case of my kind of nursing, mental illness, it doesn't discriminate. You get people from all walks of life. And I've met people with incredible life stories and experiences. From ex-professional dancers who worked with some of the biggest names in showbiz in the 1950s, to people that have incredibly high power, high paid jobs, to other people that have lived street homeless, gay, straight, bi, trans, and everyone else on that spectrum. My favorite bit of the job is just sitting and talking to people. Don't get me wrong, and I certainly wish that there was a little bit less paperwork and a little bit more time for this. But I love just listening to people talking about their lives, you know, from the best bits to the worst bits, to things that have made them laugh, things that have made them cry. It feels like a privilege to meet someone at a time of crisis and have them trust you enough that they will sit and share these stories with you. It's a pretty amazing thing. Another reason I love my job is that there is no such thing as a boring day at work. I don't think I have
have ever in the little over three years that I've now been doing this. I don't think I have ever had two days the same. People are changeable and situations are dynamic. Sometimes we wake up in a bad mood. Maybe we don't sleep well or we're a little bit hangry. <laughs> or sometimes we wake up in a great mood. And my patients are exactly the same. In their case, they just have the added complication of a mental health problem, but they still have all of those typical human experiences that we all have. I also really feel like I'm doing something, that I'm making a difference. I'm actually helping someone, which is why in my opinion, most people go into nursing. You go into nursing because you are a caring person, because you want to help people. And that's definitely how I feel most days when I'm at work. It's easy to get caught up in the negatives, like the mountain of paperwork we have to do, or the time when a patient or one of their relatives shouts abuse at you, a mistake you made, or something you missed when, I don't know, say a patient goes AWOL after you made the decision to let them out on leave because you thought they were settled enough. It's easy to just focus on that side of things, but I've really been trying to make myself sit and think of the positives. Like some of the incredible discharges I've seen after after people have been so, so unwell and then seeing them leave hospital a few weeks later, just a completely different person and in a much better place in their life. So I try to focus on the good things, the good occasions, the occasions when I've done the right thing and really helped someone. Like having a really long one-to-one -one chat with a patient over a cup of tea when they were really struggling, which meant that instead of self-harming as a coping mechanism, they were able to do something else and keep themselves safe. Those are the days when I feel like I've done good, but I definitely need to get better at remembering that I have helped someone every single day that I go to work. That's why we go to work. It just might not be as noticeable on some days as it is on others. And if any of you watching right now also work in mental health, whether you're a qualified nurse or still training, remember the same thing. Like you will have helped someone every single day when you're at work, whether it feels like it or not. And the final reason that I love nursing, well, not the final reason, but the final reason I'm going to talk to you about today is the fact that nursing is a profession that is always learning learning, always growing, and therefore it encourages you as an individual to do the same. I am a massive nerd <laughs> and I love to learn. I love to learn new things and to develop my skills. And as nurses, I feel like we're really encouraged to, you know, attend further training or participate in things that are just going to help us continue to grow our knowledge. I'm actually seriously considering going back to do a master's now because I feel like the more I continue to develop myself, the better nurse I'm going to be and the more effective I'm going to be for my patients. I would also love, you know, one day in the future. This isn't this isn't near future. This is, you know, 10 years down the line. I'd love to do a PhD. And this is something that's all relatively new. You know, it wasn't that long ago when nurses were basically just dishing out plasters and doing exactly what the doctors said. Whereas now I feel like we're independent practitioners. We are professionals in our own right and we have our own skill set that within the last sort of 50 plus years has really been recognized. So yeah, I feel very lucky that I'm doing nursing in a day and age which allows me to continue to grow and be the best nurse that I can be. As I said, I could keep talking for hours and hours about this topic because there are so many reasons why I love my job, but I don't think you guys would want to sit through that. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you are a mental health nurse. What do you love about your job? Or even if you're already studying, I bet there are elements of it that you already love. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I will see you again next time.